All right, here we go again. Um, next project is uh, working on these windows. So I'm just prepping the frames here at the moment. Um, they kind of popped away from the uh, frame. The aluminum skin popped away from it because there's too much tension in it. In one of my other videos I'd mentioned that this was a problem with the uh, up under being up under here is where it started to into the curve so this piece here has some tension on it wants to hold it out so that's why I was uh, saying I, I would in the future if I did it again I would uh, I'd break that top edge and pull it in but uh, you know it wants to sit out here the only ones that are really going to be a problem are this window and the one up there forward of it because they are, the rest of them are all in slides. So, uh, so they, you know, they just have flat aluminum on them there. They didn't have any tension on them from uh, sliding under the, uh, under the cap. So these two are going to be a little bit more of a challenge, but the rest of them are, uh, or not so bad but anyway so what I had to do is go because I did put uh, seam sealer in here and it you know popped away and dried and everything I had to go razor knife and cut it all out and uh, now what I'm doing is going along and I just got one hole drilled, drilled so far but eight inch countersunk rivet so I'm gonna stick in drill all the you know every I don't know whatever whatever it takes every six inches or something and um, uh, put those all around and then I'll then I'll put the uh, moldings on Dad's working on my pile of debris. It's been sitting there since last September <laughs> October something like that uh, It's a long story anyway Where we're renting here is uh, Becoming more and more of a challenge. So anyway, Ooh, that's another story. Um, anyways, I'm going to get that that and we'll film as we go. Nerve pops. Disgusted. <laughs> I cleaned up the mess. <laughs> uh, I knew I kept them around for a reason. Okay, so there's what I did here for the... Uh, to attach this aluminum to that window frame um, let me see if I can lean outside here far enough to I just countersunk uh, 8 inch rivets all along there and then once that was done then that's the trim that I'm putting on there Well, that's not going to work well, is it? <laughs> there we go. That's better. Uh, maybe I'll go down below. Maybe it'll show up better from uh, from a distance. Ah, so there's that molding. Installed along the top edge there. Uh, a few months ago, I put that piece in the uh, shrinker and stretcher and, and made that one up. I have, uh, you know, the rest of them to do now, so I have to pull the shrinker and stretcher out and then I made a couple of little uh, dummy corner pieces here so I can get the uh, the angle and the length just right because um, that's a 260 degree angle pieces to me you know that that's 120 degrees and that corner the rest of them are pretty simple they're just they're just uh, 90s so 245s but that one was a little tricky Anyways, that's how I'm doing that. So that's the first molding all installed in that uh, one window. All came out pretty nice, I think. Uh, it's all seam sealed and riveted and everything in there ready to 
install a window frame so I think I'm going to do that I'm going to install this window completely just to make sure all my spacing works and uh, rivet choice works and all that kind of stuff with all with the space and uh, just to make sure everything works before I go ahead and you know do this to all the windows and then find out something's something needs to be adjusted I'll go ahead and put the one window in and if it's doesn't need adjustment then I'll move on if it does I'll adjust it and I'll know what the uh, what that is for the next one so I'll uh, start doing that tomorrow this is going to be a fairly tedious time consuming job so I don't think I'll bother filming all of them I'll just do the one because um, the process is going to be the same for all of them and uh, you know you don't need to see the same thing six times, so I'll just do the one. Anyways, continue on tomorrow. Hey guys, so Pops and I are taking us with these windows apart. <coughs> Basically, there's screws in at an angle that go in from that side and to, uh, in each corner and uh, you have to take those screws out then the glass comes or the then the frame comes off there's the top piece of the frame there uh, the end piece is here somewhere and then there's the lower section there <laughs> um, and uh, then we have to clean these, this frame all up and uh, I'm going to strip all the paint and everything off of it and uh, and then bolt it back together again without the center divider and then uh, install the new window sounds easy doesn't it <laughs> all right so there's the frame all glass all out of the frame and the frame all prepped and painted and Ready to go back in. So we'll, uh, Dad's just setting up the scaffolding and we'll go and mount this in the, uh, in the opening and then, um, and then install the window. More to come. Okay, so we're a little farther along here. Uh, we got the window frame installed. This is from the inside, sealed, and, uh, then I riveted it in place. So, uh, it's all sealed up on the inside here, like I say. I'll go around to the outside. Alright, and here's the window frame from the outside. Just climbing up on our scaffolding here. Whoa! So we're just going to get uh, ready to install the window here. The light is not being our friend at the moment, but hopefully you get the idea. Alright, well there's the first window installed. I have to go along and put the screws in the... Uh, in that window holding it to the frame yet, but uh, other than that it's all, all in place. <clears throat> Our first attempt at uh, the last video, last little segment there, I had uh, window frame in. Well, that didn't work. Um, I just I had to take it all back out and install the frame onto the new window, screw it all together, and then put it in as one unit. Um, so yeah, doing it the other way, yeah, that's way too easy. So, nothing ever works that easy. Anyways, it was a bit of a challenge to get the uh, to get it all uh, you know, mounted in there. Um, it's a really really tight fit, but it, it did go. But I mean, it's we'll call it a precision fit. That, that's it. Uh, I think the two back windows here are going to be the worst because they have this really sharp corner here. The rest of them are a lot. Uh, a lot simpler uh, shape, so I think they'll they'll uh, 
go together easier, but we'll we'll find out when we get there. Anyways, that's the one uh, one window installed. Happy day. One down, five to go. And there's what our window looks like from the inside. To excuse the white clocking, looks like hell. It's all they, uh, it's all they had, and uh, made a heck of a mess going and when I had to pull that window frame out. But uh, you know, it's all going to be covered with uh, whatever I cover this uh, wall with to finish it. So that's all. It's all going to be covered anyways. But it looks like hell right now. Anyways, fit nice once I figured out how to do it. So, on to the next ones. Alright, so this bedroom slide uh, trim is all installed on this window. Um, this one was a lot easier to do, like I say, because the the uh, top of the slide out out there is just ugh, square. It doesn't it doesn't try and, and curve under like all the rest of this up here does up underneath the uh, the roof skin. So this one was way easier to do. I'm just in the getting ready to put the uh, the uh, framework around. Around it, here's the frame all prepped and painted. Uh, these are a bit of a challenge to do, uh, like I said on the, the last one there, but um, hopefully this one will go a little easier because we're kind of getting the hang of it, but um, I'll keep you updated with that. Uh, i got to knock those rivets out of there. I forgot to do that, so that uh, those trim little molding or... Uh, those are the, the window closures from the factory uh, set up, so i got to take those out of there yet. But um, I'll kind of video the whole assembly of this one. Hopefully it goes smoothly. And now I have no idea whether this is actually the right way to do it or not, but it worked for us for the first one, so... I have this uh, eighth inch two-sided tape that uh, goes down on here. This is an adhesive as well. Um, the first one I tried to uh, just pull all the backing off it and then, and then drop these into place and that didn't work. It just stuck in all the wrong places and anyway, so what we found works best is to uh, apply the tape, assemble these pieces here with this tape still on it and then just before you uh, put it down just peel back a corner so it's hanging out here so you can you can grab it and then uh, after it's all fit and it's where you want it just pull the tape pull this white uh, cover tape off of it and press the whole thing down so that's that's what we found worked I don't know whether that's the way it's supposed to be done there's no instructions with these things at all so we're just figuring out as we go along but so far that seems to have worked so that's what we're going with so uh, I'm just going to put the other piece on here and start screwing it together. All right, so I got it all on here, screwed together, and I'm uh, this is the last piece of. So I'm just pulling this back out from between the frame and the two-sided tape. Now. And I'll have to go around, go along and you know just squeeze this down right up against it. And then I'm not going to put the screws in uh, until after the window's installed. And I don't know if it'll make any difference or not as far as, but I, I'm kind of thinking that it'll uh, allow the the uh, window to move a little bit in there if it needs to for whatever reason. Now once it's all installed, I'll uh, put the screws in the uh, holding the the window to the frame. The other side's in. I haven't even got the I haven't got the uh, the screws in yet, so I'll just go back in afterwards and put the screws in. 
Anyways, so far so good. Now I just got to get it in the bus. Okay, there's window number two in. That one was a bit of a struggle. We uh, had a hard time getting, well, never did actually get the, the original window frame uh, exactly the right shape. We kind of had to do a little grinding and hammering and swearing and you know all that fun stuff to get it uh, in there, but it's in now, so it's all good. It looks good. It's nice, so. I'm happy. Move on to the next one. All right, so we're pretty much finished that window. Both of these rear windows, there's not much point in filming any more of the windows because they're all virtually the same. So kind of got an idea how that all works out. Uh, so I'll just uh, put this all together and upload it. Uh, in the, once the windows are done, um, we're going to uh, test fire the generator and uh, get it all cleaned up and ready for installation and um, build a battery bank for the, or build the, sorry, the, the, um, oh, brain fart. The box for the for the battery uh, for the uh, battery bank. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, so uh, that'll be our next uh, few projects after the uh, after the windows are done. But it'll be a little bit uh, a little bit before that is uh, that's done yet. But but uh, no point in filming anymore. So see you in a bit.